And if we start digging underneath it, we start seeing it's a lot darker under the surface. This is broken down plant debris, logs. That you're seeing the process of them breaking down. Nice organic, rich stuff there. It will become something else. In order to find out what this stuff will turn into in the future, we need to travel back into the past. Many, many millions of years into the past. And we can do this by looking at existing rock layers, tall sedimentary units that are layered with shales, claystones, mudstones, sandstones, siltstones, and in them we also find seams of a dark black substance. Coal. This is the result of many, many millions of years of the compaction of plant debris. It obviously looks a little different than the plant matter that we were looking at, and that's because it's undergone a lot of physical and chemical changes uh, since it was first deposited. And over time, we get a little bit more of a compact, harder substance like this. Now, it doesn't obviously start out as coal. It goes through a series of processes of different grades of coal. And coal is found in sedimentary rocks, most often in sedimentary layers or groups of formations that include rock types like sandstone, siltstone, and shales. And take a look at this image, which shows the stratigraphy, or relative order, of the rock units correlated with the types of ancient environments. Notice in the lithology key that the shaded black box represents coal. And in the graphic, that correlates with, you guessed it, swamps. That's right, coal is formed in coastal and inland swamp environments. And while nearby environments like splays and marshes and lakes seem similar, they don't quite have the same physical and chemical properties of a swamp that make them conducive to coal formation. And that's why we find coal associated with these other types of sedimentary rocks, especially carbonaceous shales. These shales are great places to look for plant fossils. So clearly to find coal, we need to find ancient swamp environments. The first step in coal formation is the development of peat, which is partially decayed plant matter found in those swamps. Now at this point, it's not coal yet. It accumulates in an anoxic environment, one that is low in oxygen where plant debris doesn't biodegrade. And if just enough heat and pressure is applied through the process of burial, we'll get coal. But there are different grades of coal, include lignite, bituminous, and anthracite coal. Particularly notable are the coal swamps of the Carboniferous, but also earlier in the Permian and later on in the Mesozoic, we find notable widespread coal swamps. In the United States, these various grades of coal can be found in several key regions. By looking at certain formations in places like Utah, Colorado, Montana, and the West, and certain places in the Eastern US as well. So let's take a look. The Eastern and Gulf provinces also in the interior province and the Rocky Mountain and Great Plains provinces. I hope you enjoyed today's overview of coal. I'll be doing some more videos about coal and related resources and mining. So there you have it, coal. Stay tuned because I'll be talking about other related natural resources like oil and gas, which are also found in proximity to some of the coal seams we talked about here today. I also have a full length video on sedimentary rocks. So if you're just getting started and you want kind of a geology 101 uh, on sedimentary rocks or other rocks, go to the rocks playlist and you'll find that there. And I also have an overview of minerals and all kinds of things related to geology here at Let's Go Geo. So hopefully you'll join me on the next adventure. If you'd like to support the cause and help me, I'm a one woman team doing uh, this geology channel. So you can do that by becoming a fan on Patreon and get access to exclusive content there. And you can join me on Facebook if you're on Facebook and you can see some of the updates on Let's Go Geo there as well. Otherwise, I'll see you here on the next adventure at Let's Go Geo. Mm -hmm.